How do you feel when people do everything right and still don't get results? Well, everything right for me may not be everything right for them. And so if people do everything right, what is right? Just the way I do it? It's not going to, if people do, it, do things the way I do, it's not going to work for them. Like they need to do it like in their own way. You need to be able to customize things. And so what is, what is right? What is right is what sells. And so if you're doing everything right, but it's not selling, then you're obviously not doing everything right. Right equals sells. So if you're doing something right, it sells. If something's selling, you're doing it right. So you can't possibly, by definition of, of right, you can't possibly do everything right and not make a sale. So then we got to find out, okay, well, how do we make a sale? And like the way, the way we teach it in our academy is we help people sell courses and coaching programs, either through automated webinars or strategy sessions over the, over the phone, like boat calls. And so if you're not making sales, you're either not getting traffic to the webinar or you're not getting on calls. Like, I don't know anyone that's done 30 calls, 30 phone calls and not made a sale. Like you have to make a sale within those 30 calls. If you're following the script, if you're, if you're, if you understand how the procedure works when you're on the phone with somebody, if you understand how to get somebody on the phone in the first place, the qualified prospect on the phone in the first place, you're going to make a sale. You can't not. So then it comes down to like, we'll just get 30 people on a freaking phone call and you make at least one sale. Typically, though, you make a sale every 10 phone calls. But who knows? You could go 30 phone calls and not make a sale because you're just starting out, still trying to understand the, the, the environment. But with the webinar, too, it's the same thing. It's like if you, you should get at least one sale for every 200 views on the webinar. Ideally, you get a sale every 100 views on the webinar. It's like a 1% conversion. But if you don't, it's going to be at least every 200 views. So then it's like just get more traffic to that freaking webinar. And invariably, every time I take a look under the hood at somebody's program that's not working, I'm like, okay, hey, well, you haven't made a sale yet, right? And they're like, no, I haven't made any sales. Like, okay, well, how many strategy sessions have you had? How many phone calls have you had? And like, well, I haven't had any. Well, no wonder you don't have any sales. You don't have any phone calls. So get some phone calls. Or they're like, how come my webinar hasn't made any sales? I'm like, well, how many views does it have? And we look, it's like 27 views. They give 27 views. The thing's been up for like six months. No wonder it doesn't have any sales. Drive traffic, get some views. So it, it's... If the webinar still isn't converting after that many views and something's obviously wrong with the webinar, then we can go in there and see what's wrong with the webinar. But I guarantee you something's not right. And everything's not right with the webinar if it's not selling. So we need to fix it. And we just constantly fix it, constantly fix it, constantly fix it. Entrepreneurship is just all about finding out what the problem is and figuring out the solution and then executing on that solution and making sure it actually works. And that's it. Just over and over and over again in all these different ways. That's it all there is to it like what is not working how do we fix it you can't do that and not make sales because again by definition when you're doing everything right you're making sales so if something's wrong let's find out what it is wrong let's be okay with it being wrong and let's fix it this happens all the time in my business too like it's always going on my business is not perfect by any means there's all we always have leaks popping up and things that need fixing and people that need more help and Areas that could be improved and money that could be saved and oh, there's so many areas. It's ongoing. That's why you need like full focus. You're running a ship. You're running a ship. You're running a ship in the ocean. You got to deal with leaks. You got to deal with wind. You got to deal with ripped sails. You got to deal with sick captains. You got to deal with sharks. You got to deal with icebergs. You got to deal with shallow waters you got to deal with the food on deck you got to deal with the coal and the engine you got to deal with the steering wheel you got to deal with the glass and the bird shit on the windshield like you could do with all this stuff you're running a ship plus you got a crew if you have a team like i have a team you got a crew running it always gonna have to be making like little tweaks here and there to make sure it's optimized